host that had recently mastered the skill of invisibility. When a post appears out of nowhere, it's nice to have someone on your side. Look away now. It's time for a juicy tower of beef, dripping cheese, piles of bacon, crispy onion rings, drenched in barbecue and tangy stacker sauce. The new Rodeo Mega Stacker from BK. Vaseline's expertise in rescuing dry skin starts with moisturizing glycerin and replenishing prolipids. The ultimate rescue ingredients in our new Vaseline Expert Care range. Rescues dry skin from first use. New Vaseline Expert Care.
opportunities. I remember. He was a bit of an extreme side. Who are you? I'm from Hampshire. Bad. And I'm not sure if it's mad. <laughs> I'm Corinna. Quite fabulous. Houses. <laughs> people are too busy drinking. It's alright though. <laughs> yeah. Straight straight through the ban phase as well. Zeme's team actually banned in Kane too, which was surprising. Yeah. Scary, scary champs on Zim, to be honest though. Like he plays them very well. Er Ergot is just a really good top laner at the moment. Like he's he's difficult to play against in some situations. Yep. <laughs> Especially into Kaisa. Kaisa lacks a bit of early game damage that Tristana actually has, so... Tristan Morgana would be pretty aids to verse. Unless it's Morgana jungle, actually, because Zim has played a lot of that. It could be a Morg jungle. What? Yes. Cord flex, yes. <laughs> Can't theoretically be played everywhere. Like, let's be honest. Kaisa Lulu, that's a good combo. If it's Morgana bot, Lulu's gonna be kind of redundant in lane, but. Oh. Yeah, like, um, as long as Lulu. I mean, even if Lulu doesn't polymorph, then. Morgana doesn't really do anything because Lulu is just all about buffing her ADC, so <clears throat> she can give move speed and shields and health and massive size increase, but yeah. We'll see a Volibear Ben now. Not sure who's that who that's targeted for. Scary champ right now. Thank God he's getting nerfed next patch as well. That's good. Ah, uh, Darius. 
his E cooldown is going, uh, is getting a massive nerf. It's it's already. Next I think patch, I though. think it's more. It's already up. I yeah, think. it's already next patch. Oh, it's this patch. So, oh, wonderful. Um, more well, Ons banned as well. Yep, makes sense because um, Satirical is pretty good on that. Not sure why they banned Gwen. Kind of an underwhelming champ right now, but. I mean, no one knows how to play against it. I guess she's okay. We'll see what the rest, rest of the teams pick. Yasuo, yeah, so that's that's going to be very interesting into their comp. He's also got no knock-up on his team. Oh, he's got Trist ult, but that's really... It single target as well. Oh, they're gonna take away the malfight too. That's smart. That's smart. I love this kick. Uh, ho hopefully we don't have placeholders because blue blue team's comp is actually amazing. Like, they have so much lockdown and control, it's incred incredible. And he, and he shits on Yasuo, and a teamo? Really? That's gotta be a placeholder, right? Please. Okay, thank god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me it was the team I placeholder and not yes was it okay that's fine that's fine. Hopefully the other team knew in at the time of picking otherwise it's kind of unfair but <laughs> we'll see what happens. Hopefully it was like that. So Cassidon into. Kaisa, Lulu, Jin, Malphite, and Annie. That's not a terrible thing for Cassidy, but I mean, they have so much CC to just lock him down and instantly kill him if he is, if he's just caught in a bad position. And they had set instead of who was it? Instead of Yasuo. I assume that would be set support, right? Or would it? Um, usually would captains it? message each other on DMs if there's placeholders, but Chuck didn't see it. I th oh. Conflict here. Um, yeah, and then and then blue side got to pick their final two, and then Tima was picked at, as the final. Oh. I think the what time was the game supposed to start? It was meant to start at eight because no, no, 40, no, 8 40 minutes. Eight thirty. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all right then. <laughs> I just saw someone say eight. So. You're gonna cast the first game, Leslie, and then I'll do the others? Yeah. Alright, easy, no worries. 
All right, they're actually just picking roll order now. Oh. <laughs> what can we talk about here? Malphite into set. Um, <clears throat> that's a that's an okay lane for, I believe Malphite. Honestly, like I mean, if Set doesn't abuse him early, which he should, it's pretty Malphite favored because then he can just, you know, farm for a little bit of armor that just turns into like you know him not dying. So. Hmm. But I mean, hopefully, um, hopefully Bagel uses his his champ well enough to abuse the weakness early, so he can get ahead and win top. Ah, oh, but it's a Panth support. I forgot they had Pantheon. I'm really Panth not into Lulu Kaiser. That's actually blue side actually wins this. Pantheon is, isn't that good until Lulu, because if Lulu's good enough, she can shield when he jumps on, or she can poly mid-jump of his. She'll still get stunned, but then he won't be able to proc press or um, do damage, and then he'll just Wait, get your stun honest, and jumping in for a second. Honestly, I don't think the Malphite would do much here. I'd, I'd just keep just keep the Tristana and chuck. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, the Malphite picks, it's good for lockdown, but yes, it doesn't make an amazing sort of sense into their comp because, I mean, it could work. We'll see what happens. So, mm. I do. I'm just excited to see how the um how the junglers play around their lanes because I assume Chug is going to play around his mid and bot, but could be wrong. I'll wait for it. I assume Blue Side's bot is just going to get shoved in pretty hard due to Tristana's passive wave clear. So. I think mid's so super boring because if Annie just Annie can just abuse some auto attacks, but isn't she if she isn't able to do anything like get the yeah. rems off pre six, it's like the freest cast in game ever. Yeah, no Annie Annie either needs a kill or two early on over Cassidy. No, 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 no. Sort of you lead take D blade cool. Annie, abuse that obscene. Oh, you take D blade. Yeah, then you just start autoing Cassidy. Because since you have like one of the longest attack I range mean, just right now, yeah, like she has she's six twenty five attack range, which is one of the highest in the game. <laughs> but I still think just getting a, a Doran's ring and two pots and just poking Cassid and from time to time. And no, 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 farming, no, it's, con farming it's about, it's about sending there. the message about the continuous poke. How dare you pick okay. Cassid? <laughs> How dare you pick Cassid and intimate? I'll abuse you by but you can also just... keep, keep going. Yeah, how dare you pick Cast and into me? I'll just abuse the shit out of you by just having D Blade going AD Annie instead. Oh look, magic shield doesn't matter. Just start poking. It's all attack. I mean, that's all that matters. The Cassidan won't. I mean, he'll do he'll do a lot to Kaiser late game and maybe Jun Zhao if it's it's situational. But if Jun Zhao just initially engages on Cassidan, he can. Potentially just one shot him like at a almost any stage of the game, but it's just like I don't get your thoughts on AD Annie. That's not. <laughs> it's about the order attacks. Like I understand the principle of sending the message, but it's still better to just go D ring and farm at least say somewhat safely. Like sure, you can farm with the extra eight AD you get from D Blade, and you're a little bit healthier. Yeah, wait, is like five or ten more health that Doran's Blade has over Deering? I think it's like. Or is Deering, I think it's is Deering 15 health? Am I getting it completely wrong? Doran's Blade. Uh, I know Doran's Blade is 80 health. Yeah, 80 I can't health. remember if Deering was like 15 or 75. Oh, it's just 70, so it's just 10 or, more health. Oh, it... right, okay, there you go. I don't, know, I don't think it's too bad, right? But surely... Ah, uh, yes. And he should definitely go Shadow Blue buff at some point. That That's perfect. Oh, Boomer TFT logic? Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll just, give me the item components everyone starts off with. I'll start doing the... T It'll start being like TFT builds. It's like, Let's oh, she's, it. she's getting the tier first. She can build towards uh, Shadow Blue. She picks up the component. Oh, it's the carousel happening at the 15 minute mark of the game. Everyone's picking up random components here and there. You see a bow, you see a Shadow Bow. Oh, look, it's this right. I haven't seen that in forever. <laughs> All right, and we're heading off to Leslie and Ken. Whenever yep. we can load this, passing off to Leslie and Ken, and Glove isn't even I will be back after the first game. Yeah.
unless Leslie wants to keep going, then by all means. Probably. Yes, have fun. Thank you. Thank you for the in-depth TFT logic mechanics by our resident boomer, Gabriel. But yeah, game one. What are your thoughts, Leslie? Game one, uh, I did tell Zim to bring out the Morgana jungle because it counted as most of Chug's champion brawl, and it looks mm -hmm. like he's gone with that suggestion. So, all around, I should be D2 like he is, just because I'm quite clearly the best player. Um, Probably. I mean, you did kind of, like, well, I wouldn't say shit, but you did provide a juicy jungle dip when you did play against him. I also did Morgana, Morgana jungle. jungle. Yeah. Yes. So, needless to say, Chug just seems to do badly into Morgana jungle. Mm. Although, albeit, I have one game as reference, but... Confirmation you know, bias, don't worry. It's fine. You're absolutely correct, and it looks like they're just both gonna fan out. And a pause has to do. <laughs> Support is BRB. Shouldn't be long, and then Zim just claps back with Call again. Because last time, I think Chug had like a 5-10 minute call during his yeah. game against Zim as well. There was like a 5 minute phone call, and it was a bit yikes. Literally, just mute your mic and put it on speaker. Like, it's not that hard. <laughs> yeah. No, I think it was a casted game. It was a casted game. I think I was casting. Yeah. But I was also, like, so out of it that I wasn't casting casting. Mm. <laughs> Actually, yeah, no, I, I, see. I think I was the camera guy. The... Actually, yeah, I think you were the camera guy. But yeah, we see here just two teams just fanning out, no GC invades going on. Yep. You know what to say? My disappointment is immeasurable. Yeah. I wanted to see a GC level 1 invade. And yes, subred, the new jungle patch is live. So catch up XP is pretty massive. So it. Doesn't really punish if um, Chug just keeps on ganking early game, he can just farm his jungle and then be at least like the same level as Zim, who will probably just power farm the entire game. I did give him my Morgana insight though, uh, clear bot side and then interrupts Chug's level 3 gank in mid. We'll see if that happens again, if Chug's just gonna one-track my end, but... Can you just change your name to Coach Leslie or something? God damn, you're just coaching Zim out here. Uh, it's more of a backseat gamer kind of deal. Albeit with a three minute delay, but... True, true, true. But yeah, the jungle meta is more favorable now towards um, junglers who can just spam gank. Because of catch up XP. And yeah, we see what Liam says earlier. Malphite just getting bullied by Seth early on. Oh, it's already out of mana, dude. Like, he queued twice and it's already gone. <laughs> he does have um, Doran's Ring. So every time he kills um, a minion, he can just regain some mana. I thought it was just flat mana regen. No, I think it provides mana every time you kill a minion. Yeah, um, killing a minion restores 6 mana. I'm mistaking the Doran's one where I just replaced it with Bounty Van. Oh, like, way just took a chunk of damage. And meanwhile, Sadekin d doesn't have, like, any chunk to his health. Wonder what happened there. And uh, yet we see Zin trying to gank mid, but it's pushing towards mid. Oh, wait, the flash... I don't think that was worth it, but um, both flashes down from... Actually... Oh, I thought Chug flashed, but I just forgot that Zin can just W for infinite range and just E afterwards. Okay. Is that it's worth very, it? It's very disappointing to see Zin not taking my advice. I literally called that that would happen, and he did nothing to stop it, but... <laughs> Anyways... Bit of a trade going on in the top lane, despite the fact that Malphite's out of mana, he's gone for the for the paper trades, but then the set just goes for the W and he's already on full health. 800 health shield. Very cool, very fun. 
And they think Zima's bot side because he wasn't there to contest top crab. But... Yeah. Now he's going bot side and Ignite used by Pantheon. I wonder what happened there. So that's Ignite down by Pantheon. They won't. They still have a semblance of kill pressure because Pantheon just deals a lot of damage early on, but with the amount of health they both have, I don't think anything's gonna come of it. Oh, that's a really, really um bad flash by Sadakin. Because Tristana can just heal, like no matter what happens there, like even if he has the fastest hand in OS. That was that's a... also pretty bad. Yeah, that was but strange Zim just Hits the Dark Binding onto Sadakin, Sadakin dies, and Tristana just <laughs> dying to minions. Valily getting, getting two kills. Lulu getting the double is a bit weird. Obviously, it's not that much of a loss for Red Team, but also just going to Lulu. Like, yeah. you lose nothing for focusing the Lulu there. But diving the Kaisa, like, before the jungler can come and get an assist, like maybe. I think the thought process there was Kaisa. Like he knew Kaisa didn't have any flash, but still, I think just going for the Lily there, getting her flash, would have been worth it. Because um, Tristana would still have flash, so it's just worth it to go for Lily's flash there. I think. Hmm. Annie or Cassidy? Annie. <laughs> Which one was it? Such a go for a re um, cheater here, right? Yep, he's going for a cheater. Malphite can't really do anything to stop his back because minions are just way too much for him. And he just misses two. Oh, it's not too bad. He only missed two caster minions right there. Would have been worse. Yeah, because it's it's the Tristana bottom. Red side will always have Prya, but they don't know that Chug's doing Dragon right now. Uh, so it's a yeah. free um what Dragon is it? Mountain Dragon to them. Blue side. It's the Chug classic to be honest. Level three gank mid. Clear whatever you didn't clear, then go straight to dragon. Mm -hmm. Top lane's pushing towards red side. So if Set can hold the freeze, Zim can just gank off you. Yep, okay. Zim's riding towards top side right now. However, Malphite is level 6 and he still has flash, so Set will have a pretty. Happened. What was there? I didn't even see it. Okay, so Pantheon stunning Lulu, Lulu going for Polymorph, and then Kaiser stealing damage in the backline, killing Pantheon. Tristana doesn't have W, but he has to flash out, and yeah. I don't understand how Tristana didn't have enough attack speed to get like the full A power. Yep, that's just what I said earlier. Malphite has OP and Flash to be able to just escape out of there. And I think mid will have no cool pressure. Meanwhile, bottom's gonna get dove, I think. Yep. And with just Tano having no Flash and no W, it's just a free kill going to Chug. Yeah. Really is a chug or be chugged game right now. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Mid lane's gonna be just a farm lane, I think. Until Annie has flashback out, and then that's when. That's when Annie has full pressure, but as of right now, Cast it can just ulti whenever and just play back. Chug flashing really early, getting stunned by Pantheon, dealing a lot of damage, and Kassadin can just, yeah, pick that up. I was gonna say, I hope he doesn't flash over the wall against the Kassadin, but, but with but all the flash. he just flashed really early. Mm -hmm. I think he should have just recognized that he was just dead there. 
I don't think he knew the casket was coming, unfortunately. Step, step ulti coming in to Malphite. Malphite still has no ulti or flash. It's gonna come down to the wire, however, Zeem is here, so it doesn't really matter if... Zeem throwing out a Hail Mary epic you missing, and... Yeah, Malphite really can't do anything. Satirical, oh no. Very unfortunate how that happened. Yeah. And you are right, subred chug was chugged right there. But yeah, I think Chug should just realize that um, top lane he can't really do anything because it's a set, so he should just keep on ganking bottom, especially since he knows that both Tristana and Panthe will have flush for, I think, a few more minutes. Panthe will have flash back up, however Tristana doesn't, but yeah. Zin's looking for Rift Herald after a Rift Scuttler, and yep, he's going for a Rift Herald now. And Red Side can't really stop it because Zim spot side and mid and mid top is not looking for any rotations toward Herald. Despite the kill and drag deficit though, Red Team is still ahead in gold, because he is 20 CS up as Morgana Jungle. Losing my mind or Zim level 8? He is level 8 and Chuck is level 6. Mm -hmm. When will the catch up XP kick in? Who knows? Who knows? Yep, just Chuck stealing some of um, Zim's farm in the top lane. Meanwhile, Zim's trying to look for a gank mid. He can't see it, so he'll just go towards Raptors. Clear that. Bottom tree setting. Dragon's coming up, so I think. I'm not sure if Red Side can contest this right now. Mm. I'm sure well, yeah, they can, because Malphite TP top for some reason. Well. So if set TP bottom. And it's gonna be a man advantage, and they won't be able to do anything to contest. Like Blue Side won't be able to contest Dragon in 20 seconds. I hate to say we've experienced it firsthand, but a lot of low elo top lanes love to TP the lane. Even when he does that, he's still 20 CS down. So yeah, maybe it's not worth it. Maybe I just hold on to it. Rift is getting put in mid, and then everyone's gonna rotate towards Dragon. Set's recalling here so he can teleport towards Dragon, and he knows that Malphite doesn't have teleport, so it's a really good fight for Red Side to take here. Especially since everyone has OP up. Oh, but I think they're just gonna give it, potentially. Nope, it's a late teleport coming towards Set. Blue's, um, Zin. Going in, static and failing flashes, and yeah. All right then, I would like a replay of that because all I saw was a four for Jack exchange. Okay, so Zin, Jack is getting dragon. Morgana flashing in, ulting. Chuck's going in on the Pantheon and just getting damaged by Cassidy. Meanwhile, the three people in the backline getting soloed by Morgana. And then Tristana just dealing damage to everyone because of it. Set ulti coming in as well. Hmm. And then, yeah, that's just a wipe. And then Malphite just getting plates up top. I think... Hmm. Like... Yeah, like, they... If Malphite held on to TP there and TP there, I think... Blue side would have been able to win that because they have a good bombo combo with Annie and Malphite. But because he did TP earlier, he can't really influence that fight that happened in the um in the Dragon Pit. And now he has ult out because he has Bramble and Set just hit him under tower. And a dive going in towards Valerie. And yep. Kill him in to 
Pantheon right there. Yeah, people just really do be like that sometimes. Oh no, why did Side can go there? <laughs> the Fleer and Flash going. Yep, like. Two kills going on to cast it in right there. Pantheon tried to steal it as well. Cheeky little bugger. Oh, like. I don't know why Annie rotated bottom. I think they should have just gave bottom tower and then just secured some plates for her mid. Now Fanti trying to go in, but yeah. <laughs> in, dude. He ulted one meter ahead of him. <laughs> it's about sending a message. It's like what Yev and Leo was talking about earlier with the Annie D blade. Annie D. But yeah. No. I think if Annie just stayed mid there, grabbed like the wave, crashed it, then casted him would have lost a lot mid. But her rotating there, especially when the fight was already over, was kind of just a misplay for her. Mm -hmm. Then yet Malphite just pushing in top again. Getting two plates. Mm -hmm. And Zeem still two levels above Chug. Taking the bot lane out of the picture, it's kind of hard to lose with the 3 0 top lane and the 3 0 cast in the champs. Yeah. So we'll see if Red Team manages to throw their 6k lead. Why well, is Trunks stealing red? There's no blast going there. But yeah, Zim doesn't even know. I just think he didn't bother. Yeah, he he's just like, eh, I already have, like, you know. I'll level lead it, like two levels out of you, I don't really care about you. What's surprising is that even though um, Morgana was just farming, hold up. Spell shield going on to set, set ulting out. Wait, uh -huh. that was such a weird combo. How was he unstoppable during that? Did he try an ulti? Okay, okay, okay. So, E going in from set. Spell shield and then here sets ulti now. Wait, that's okay. A cool bug. So what basically happened was seem um dark bound him just as set pressed ulti. One more going on to Pantheon. Kaisa going in really deep, getting caught by Morgana's ulti. However. Zim has no spell shield, so... Oh wait, he does have spell shield. He's literally in by, um... Oh, hold on. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck getting him. a W on Tristana, however he's still gonna die to Set, and everyone's so low, Set can just run at him. And W to the face of Annie, just... Damn. And while that is happening, Cassidy's just farming out bottom, just trying to get his level 16 power spike super quickly. And I think no one can contest him except for Malphite. And even then, Malphite can't really do anything against him. Malphite's got Bramble Tabby, dude. That's the thing that can do. Yeah, but at the same time, he does have health. A little shit ton of health. Yeah. So Cassidy won't be able to do anything against him as well. Cassidy's also out of mana. Mm -hmm. it's, it's Infernal Dragon, right? Yep, it's you Infernal Dragon. So everyone should just go and reset here. Red side has tempo. They already setting up wards around Dragon. Seth doesn't have DPS, but he is recalling right now. He'll get there when Dragon spawns. Pantheon's getting spell shielded. Flash ulti by Malphite hitting Zeem. Chug going in. Zeem's dead. Pantheon's dead, and this is the free Dragon going to blue side. I don't know why they're still there. Phantom W hitting Tristana, Tristana's dead, Dort can just ult out. Can he pull off the everything bagel 1v5 play? He's got his mythic, he's got his gold, he's got the set out. And he's got he has ult the up, he has ult the up. Stride breaker. Oh my gosh, the stride breaker ulti on Malphite hitting everyone and it's just 2v5, like what can they do? 
They lose drag again, but they pick up five kills in the process of that two bit of carry. Kills. Three going on to set and then two going on to Catsler and Rookie and the Shy, that's correct by Zeem. Dude, we have just a good engage like... coming in from set right there. My brain's so slow, I <laughs> thought who's Beshi? <laughs> Cause he didn't put the space and I was like, oh it's the Shy. <laughs> Wait, so... <laughs> 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 just play safe let everyone get there first before trying to go for a fight and not getting caught they will be able to contest every dragon after this one but the reason why they got caught was because they were just i think playing way too cocky against a malfi that has flash and ult up well zim gets zim got flash altered then what is the bot lane doing if they're dying in the process as well like i understand that they might be able to save him but it's honestly in your best interest to not try and save the dead man. He's just gone. He didn't spell shield with Malphite at all. And Nia just said just dumpstering Malphite, like... He's 9-0, oh. however, the entire team is here. The entire team is here and he doesn't have the ult anymore, he used it in the 1v1. Is he just gonna die a tower here, or...? Okay, W flash getting used by Chug, and however, that doesn't really matter, like... Wait, can we go back? I wanna see the Zin W. Yeah, so W flash, it's kind of like Kaisa W flash as well. Yeah. Nice. I don't think that was worth it though, because no matter what happens, we'll be able to catch up to Set because Set wouldn't really die to tower that quickly. But I don't know. It, I mean, 700 gold shut down, dude. Which like, went to Malphite, which is right. kind of bad. I think giving it to either Annie or Kaisa would have been better there. Because it's at the point where Zin wouldn't really be able to deal any damage because early game's already gone. And then Kaisa and Annie would require like major gold to come back. Mm. Mm. Annie's it's... just shit position at the moment. If she doesn't get ahead early, she's only got the mythic and it's like, <laughs> what do I do with the... Cast it into 25 stack magi. 23. And he's almost got his seraphs too. Yeah. Um, Dragon's coming up in two minutes. I don't know why Pantheon's here. Yeah, subs asking for gold charts. Yep, yeah, um. So far, bottom lane's even, however, there's a huge gap in the top and mid lane. I think at least 4,000 gold in both, both ways. And then um, at least 500 difference in the jungle. Meanwhile, Pantheon just took Kaisa's right away from her, I think. While I was trying to explain what happened. Unfortunate. Pantheon critting things on low health. Very yeah. cool. Oh yeah, like, Shaka also brought up a valid point. Like, Malphite's only down 4,000, and that's because of the, um, the 1k shutdown going towards him. If he didn't get that, he would have been down 5k. Hello, Ganit. And yep, Seth's going in, so that you're having to use ulti to get out, and... I don't think that was worth it for Blue side. Dragon's coming up and um, Zin wouldn't have ulti, so he would have to play it really safe. Zed going into Shana's flash. But yeah. Red side could just reset here. Actually, I think it's way too late to reset because Dragon's up in 20, so... Um, they should all position towards dragon right now honestly big brain strat give give soul take Go that bar. Oh, fuck. 
Or bad. Uh, I was gonna just say elbow link. That's what I was thinking as well, because they won't be able to get in position. Meanwhile, Zed's ulting. Um, Lulu. Lulu, um, Zed probably just one shotting Lulu. Zim ulting and then stop watching, but everyone is gonna go away. Cast it in. Ulting in. Tristana going in for Annie. Annie dying. And then Tristana is killing Kaisa as well. And that's just a free Jake to red side. Yeah, Malphite ulti on two people, however Chug gets a kill onto the support. Chug has ulti up back though, and Zine just hitting the Dark Finding, and that's Chug dead. Hey, what I don't understand is why this champion's ultimate ability, he still gets hit by skill shots, whereas Goth mm -hmm. Girl with a frilly dress, abilities go through her when she presses W, not L. Like, Wait, two, two salty stuff? He's in. Uh. Then also you don't take damage, but you still get hit. The bloody guff bitch. You don't even take the ability. You can't hook her out of it. You can't, like, stun her. Or and that's not even an ulti. It was, it's like a what, 20 second cooldown it's ability. Like cooldown W, and it's like. Mm. What, what's up with that? <laughs> what's the point? Yeah. And it moves with her and it lasts like five seconds. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think Blue Side should have contested a dragon. I think just giving it and then just farming up it for next dragon's because you're already at soul point. There's really no point just trying to make a fight when you're already down like well twelve thousand gold. Just farm up and Wait until you get more items before you try and fight. Um, they try and catch out Chug, however Annie's there. Annie ulting onto Pantheon, just one-shotting him. Stunning Bagel, and... Yep, Zin's taking two kills, I think, was it? Or did Annie get one? No, Zin got two kills, okay. That's two barons down from red side. And dude, what can blue side do to come back from this game? Like, they can keep making picks like that, obviously, but it's they're in a really awkward position with a 10k down against a Cassidy, and it's like. Oh, honestly, really with stunning for 10 seconds, I guess. Honestly, at this point, they should funnel all resources into Kaiso, and then instead of going for picks, they just try and peel for her. Because it's gotten to the point where Annie is just way behind everyone else in red sides, in red team. So she won't be able to one shot anyone unless Tristano oversteps. So it's better to just try and look for opportunities to peel whoever. Pantheon stunning Zin, Zin getting ever posted, and Zin's just dead. However, flash ulti for Manny, killing two people. Malphite ulti coming in as well. Dort, however, is just way too ahead of everyone, killing everyone using his ulti. And then it's just the two, <laughs> the two big guys from red side again, Set and Cassidy, and just cleaning up. And I think that should be, that shouldn't be game, I think. It's just Aren't end of towers. Game. Rookie and yeah. Tashi bring him back. God damn, dude, Tashi's just super <laughs> good. Ugh. Yeah, we had team fight. I guess they were going for the immediate picks, but they don't have enough vision to see the entire red side closing in on them. Only to lose their entire team to the 99 Cassidy. That was one step in the right direction, I think. One step forward, two steps back. Yeah, but... Un <laughs> like, the problem is that, like, blue side is just way too behind, and then red side is just way too ahead. That even if Annie and, like, Malphite get their combo off, Set would still have enough HP to just kill everyone, and Dort wouldn't really be caught, because... He's just gonna play back. 
So the only um, people that Andy and Malphite could really realistically catch is Tristana, Morgana, and Pantheon. But at the same time, like those aren't the priority targets. The priority targets are Set and Kassadin. Mm. And then Chug just yoinking. Yeah, they can make as many picks as they want, but if it's not in their hyper carries, <laughs> they can't yeah. really hurt the too much. Yeah, like... That's a really, really ambitious play by Kai'Sa. You're super down, and you're ulting into a Kassadin space that has 25 Magi stacks, and it's 10-0-10. Ten, oh, ten. They're potentially losing Nexus Tower for this, but they got drag for it. Uh, they unfortunately... Wait, Lord is really low, and that's a kill going on to Chug. I but it doesn't really die. matter. Yeah. Like... Yeah, Kassad instead, but Set's still alive, and he's really tanky, and he deals so much damage on top of that. And that should be game. While that is happening, just minion diff killings. <laughs> One tower. You really should have listened to LS and put Kassad in the dark tier. Yeah. I didn't really look at the rest of the tier list. I just know that Shaq tells me not to play Kai'Sa or Ari. I think the reason why Kai'Sa's in the dome tier is because she has way too limited range and the meta is transferring into Enchantress. Like to Enchantress. And you need like to just stick with a team and just keep getting buffed. I mean, and Kai'Sa kind of has to yeah, it's like not go as fast in meta, it's not Kai'Sa meta. Like. Yeah. I don't know, she didn't know how to play ADC, don't quote me on what I just said. That's why you just picked Serata, honestly? It's not high so meta, don't worry, you're good. Well, no, I know, I know that. <laughs> the reasoning on why I might be good with you there. Yeah, like, it's more favorable towards, I think, poke right now? Like, champions that can poke and still deal enough damage on team fights, so someone like Paris, I think, is really good. And yet, red side just getting drag um, Baron for free because blue side really can't do anything to compete against Set and Kais um Cassidy right now. Uh, One thing to note is hold up. So I got any flash forever. That is a level 16 Cassidy, so yeah, he can't really do anything against that. One thing to note is that even when Kais um Cassidy died during that fight, he still had a 600 gold shutdown. That tends to happen when you're at, like... 10-0. And ten then you got killed. And you know? like 5k up on the enemy later. <laughs> and yeah, just... Really bad. Yep, to Zeem getting... Not fight don't think few people, however that's not really enough. Because Thorpe has... Spell Shield, and yes, Zonyas. And that's just an E, um... Not an easy game. But that's just game, going through red side. Anyways, after this game, I've been told by one of the team captains that their top laner has to dip, and the games will be continued tomorrow night, as opposed to... Yeah, the games tonight are being bailed on for a bit. I think right, it's... We'll they get the super they... subs. Yeah, get the super subs. No... I can Is it? Talk... You can talk to Leon about that, but... Everything bagel has been eaten. She can no longer play the game. That she that she has to sub out, man. That she has to yeah. like dip. I think yeah. <laughs> the recipes that she needs. God damn, that she's just carrying the game on his back right now. Hello, sub bread. Oh, hello, sub. Anyways. I gotta balance the See you, Leslie. with the next games question mark. Ooh, I'll just leave it a question mark. <laughs> yeah, same. Okay, I wanna answer for there'll be more games tonight. Yes, there are. It's being continued another night.
I know. Hope you enjoy all of Chug's, po Chug's points, and we'll see you all next time. Bye.